Hello, hello. Good morning, Creative Souls. Welcome to Creative Rituals Live. I am Des of DesireeEast.com, your transformational coach disguised as an artist. And uh, if this is your first time here and you want to learn how to use creativity as a source of transformation for personal, spiritual, and professional growth, start now by subscribing to my channel and clicking the bell to stay in the loop. I just started doing these live streaming um, videos or live streaming painting sessions, and they've been a, a lot of fun. So um, be sure to subscribe and click to that bell if you want to keep in the loop. All right. So today we're going to uh, draw some cards. So I'm going to draw one card for the Creative Collective, and I'm going to have um, you pick a card for yourself. And then we're going to draw some inspiration from the cards that we drew today and paint. Okay, so uh, this is the process that I like to use anytime I'm feeling stuck or I don't know if I'm feeling like I need um, some sort of question answered or I need some guidance in any area of my life. Um, I usually go to a deck that's calling me and then I paint it out. <laughs> and painting is a really beautiful way of um, activating your brain and activating your higher consciousness. That way you can rely on your intuition to make decisions and um, you know, kind of use your self-wisdom in a sense to guide you in the right direction instead of you know, asking other people for advice or um, getting approval from outside sources or anything like that. So um, that's what we're gonna do today. And um, today I'm using the Mystics Oracle deck. This was made a um, beautiful deck. It's fairly new on the market. I would say like a couple of years old or new, I should say. And my mentor, Lindsay Para, and artist friend and colleague, um, Sarah Love McCoy were the ones who created this beautiful set and um, it's all mixed media and just beautiful beautiful vibrant cards so we're going to explore with these today okay uh, all right so let's get started and I'm, I'm just realizing I don't know what's going on but I think as I look at my camera it looks like my camera is reversed. So let me see if I could change that for my end before we get started. And if um, if not, that's okay. Not all is lost. Uh, let's see here. Autofocus, advance. When I was testing my, my camera this morning, it didn't look like that. So I don't know if it's a YouTube thing or what. So I will just check it on my back end and see if I can do anything about that. And it looks like I cannot. Huh, that's funny. So I don't know how you see it on your end. I'm not sure if it's backwards on your end or not, but you know, once we start painting and um, doing the creative part, that's not gonna matter at all anyways, because as life, as is life, right? Everything gets turned upside down and backwards and we just have to go with the flow and adjust as needed, right? Okay, so I'm gonna shuffle the cards. And before we start, I'd like you to ground yourself. If you have a minute, just ground yourself and take a deep breath and ah, think about what question or what type of guidance that you'd like before we start. Um, usually, you know, if there's any area of your life that you feel stuck or like you need a little help with and you want to tap into your intuition, that's kind of where I like to go from. Okay, so these cards I'm going to pick for the Creative Collective and may whatever card that you choose and whatever cards that we choose today be blessed with good vibes, good intentions, and with everything that is needed for the greater good of all. Okay, so one, 
I can see it is backwards. So one, two, three. So I'm gonna place some rocks here and this one will be for the Creative Collective. So I'll draw a general card for the Creative Collective for everybody. And then these will be your individual cards as we go along. And um, I can see on my camera, because it's reversed, it looks like, from my end at least, I'm going backwards. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say, okay, first this aqua rock, aqua dots, <laughs> this beautiful heart rock, and rainbow rock. I love to collect painted rocks and make painted rocks. This rock was given to me as a gift from another mama. And um, this rock was painted by me and Kira. We love to collect heart rocks. We go out on our hikes and our beach walks. And um, so that's a heart rock that we paint together. And this rainbow rock is also from the same mama that um, I was gifted some beautiful gifts with crystals and essential oils and some really beautiful <sighs> things for Mother's Day. It's really, really a wonderful little gift. So what I'd like you to do is ask your question. Take a deep breath. Is there anything that you need guidance with? We're going to ask our higher consciousness, our intuition, our guides, angels, ancestors, and archangels to be with us right now and to hear whatever questions that we have. Okay, so first I'm gonna pick, I'm gonna flip the main card over and this is for the Creative Collective. So this is a general card for everyone. Okay, so it's called M Elementals. And as you can see, when you look really close at this card, it's so beautiful. It's got mushrooms growing. You have a waterfall and a tree. And just there's so many beautiful things just illuminating in this card. So I'm going to read, because I'm still learning about the Oracle deck, but um, Elementals is all about the elements, right? So when we talk about the elements, what is it that makes up the universe? Okay, so this is also about everything that is, um, everything that is, you know, born out of wonder and curiosity, right? So not only are we connected to everything that's on Mother Earth, there's also other things that we can't see, right? Other things that are guiding us, our angels, our guides, our ancestors. And sometimes you have to look beyond what you see or even notice like the little things. So for example, if you were at a waterfall or um, sitting down in mother nature at the sunset, you might see some sparkling light, right? Some sparkling light that might, um, not only capture your attention, but it's almost speaking to you or singing to you in song, right? So I know like a lot of times, like one of my favorite rituals to do with my family or even by myself is go to the beach or maybe I'm out surfing and, and um, I'm out in the water and at sunset. And as soon as the sun sets, it's just beautiful. Like the sun sets, you know, a million times over the course of <laughs> geologi geologically speaking, right? Over the t um, lifetime of whatever, can't speak right now. But anyways, um, but each sunset is so different. Each sunset that you witness speaks to you in different ways, right? So it's the same thing in regarding regards to like mother nature and being with the elements and seeing how Mother Nature is speaking to you or how something bigger that is not there physically with you, even though you might see something physically, but there's an essence that's speaking to you, right? 
So it's beautiful medicine and um, it's all about, you know, being captivated by the magic of life and the messages that it has to give to you. Okay, so now we're gonna start with, um, I hope you had a chance to pick whatever card that you wanted. And I'm gonna flip over the rainbow rock. And this one is the higher self. I'm trying to get that to you so that there's no glare. The higher self, so what does that mean, your higher self? Okay, so again, you have, I'm just gonna leave that right there. You're on this earthly plane and um, I'm trying to get so the glare is not on there. Okay, there we go. So you're on this earthly plane and you're in this body and um, same thing, you know, you're connected to this body and it's all about being on this earthly plane and you're in this physical form. And sometimes we forget to reach to your higher selves. And sometimes that means just going inwards, kind of forgetting about the physical space, going inwards, listening to the quiet, listening to our higher consciousness, which is what we're gonna do today, okay? You're gonna, we're gonna go inward and listen to our intuition. And it's that other part of ourselves that's not planning or meeting deadlines or trying to figure out the next step and trying to like, you know, figure out our day-to-day to-do list. Um, it's not fear-based and it's all based on love. This is everything that comes from the place of love and higher consciousness. Okay. And in fact, as I speak of, you know, the logistical left brain things that we get so attached to, this is all about the left, uh, the right brain. So the right brain hemisphere, once we get painting, you'll feel that your higher self kind of coming in and we're going to say hello to our higher self today. Okay. And she is going to show us the way and help us get back into our intuitive minds okay we'll do that today while we paint okay and then we have the middle card so i'll put that there for now and the heart card if you pick this one you picked gratitude oh beautiful gratitude gratitude is everything so um gratitude gratitude this card so cute. You see that little heart, that little heart person? This, these cards are made from um, Sarah Love McCoy, and she is um, known for her um, I Stand for Love. She's at I Stand for Love if you're on Instagram. And um, every year she does an I Stand for Love, hashtag I Stand for Love um, ritual i want to say <laughs> it's the on the anniversary of her of when her and her husband got married and she encourages everyone from around the world to draw or take a picture of a heart and post it on instagram and um in the center of you know this love is gratitude where can we find the gratitude in our lives what things bring us gratitude you see this rainbow it's so beautiful it's just full of color and then you have the world here in the center and you can see the rainbow energy radiating radi radiating out from the north pole to the south pole just so magnetic that's just like this love right if we come from a place of gratitude and love can you imagine with the energy, the shifts that we'd feel around the earth. So that's what this card's all about. At least that's what I'm interpreting it as, as, as that's what's coming through to me right now. And then you have beautiful flowers and blooms and, you know, it's just so beautiful. So um, gratitude, that's this card here. Okay. And last but not least, we have the aqua rock and under that is surrender surrender what is it that you need to surrender right now so 
Um, we see this woman, naked woman, unclothed, sometimes being naked, right? You have to surrender to that. <laughs> She's laying just beautifully laying on top of this flower. And um, we have some lilies down here and it's just a beautiful array of gold just kind of supporting supporting her as she surrenders to whatever is coming her way. Okay, so what is it that you need to surrender? And surrendering is all about trust and especially trust in the unknowing and trust I mean, these days in the chaos, you know, sometimes we get so, so, so bombarded. I'm going to keep coming back to our left brain. We get we're so bombarded with um, social and like the polar polarization right now that's out there, the elections, political things. It's just crazy. And sometimes um, no matter how much you fight for the, for justice, it just seems like the world just turned upside down, right? And sometimes you, you do what you need to do. You do the action. You, you're an activist or whatever it is. I'm just speaking of the energy that I'm feeling right now um, for the world. But whatever it is in your life that you are trying to control and you feel like there's no real um, solid outcome that can be seen, sometimes you have to just... Ask for the thing that you want or desire or need or whatever whatever that needs to happen, even on a global level. Just work toward those actions and then, the, and then surrender. So this is all about how to manifest. It's having that sense of trust and knowing that you will be guided in the right direction no matter what. Okay? Just surrender. And you will be supported, just like this woman is being supported by this lovely flower and the warmth that's under her. Okay, so surrender. Um, what else is coming up for you? As you look at these cards, um, these are just my interpreta interpretations that are coming out right now. Um, so I'd like you to think of your question, what it is that you need guidance with, and uh, go with that. And so... Um, I'm going to show you the cards one more time so you can see up close, and then we're going to paint together. Okay, so this first one was the higher self. So if you chose this card, it was the higher self, and let me see if we can get a close up. Oh, there we go. Beautiful. So higher self, the words are backwards on my end, but that's okay. How can you connect to your higher self? your intuition, how can you invite quiet and your in internal wisdom to you right now? Okay. Second card with the heart. And how perfect was that? Oh my gosh. I just noticed that. Let me see. I just noticed that the heart card was with the heart rock. Oh my gosh. That's the universe saying we're in going in the right direction. <laughs> so this was gratitude. How can you invite more gratitude into your life, into your heart? And how can you spread that like beautiful flowers that bloom throughout the world? How can you spread that beautiful energy so that everyone feels that gratitude and feels that love alongside you? Gratitude. So that's what that looks like. Okay. And aqua rock, sorry about that blur. And this one was surrender. What is it that you need to surrender to? What, where can you find more trust and faith in the unknown? Okay. So those are your individual cards. And today, instead of me, instead of you know, me choosing an individual card for myself. I also picked out a card, a general card for the creative collection. And this is where I will be drawing my inspiration from. And, I, you know, I may, I may mix some of these other things up too, if I feel called. So this one was the elementals. And it's all about finding the magic 
and that twinkle and sparkle like fairy dust outside of our day-to-day -day normal. I know for me, I find that when I'm playing with my five-year-old, she's so new to this universe, to this world, and she's so innocent, and that's where I find my magic. And we're always talking about glitter and fairies and sparkles and angels. So anyways, that childhood magical energy, you know, that fairy-like unicorn energy. All right, so let's see if we can get this focus back in. Focus, focus, focus. Anyways, we're gonna go ahead and um, get started. So I hope I gave you enough visual um, time with these. So this was the higher self, one more time, just really quick. Gratitude and surrender. And if you like, you can also do elemental things with me if you want to. So whatever you're drawn to. Okay. So I'm going to put these cards here so I have room to paint. And let's get started. Today I'm going to start with watercolors. And thank you, Lindsay. Lindsay Para and Sarah Love McCoy for creating these beautiful cards. I've used these cards many times and um, they've been so accurate. So I hope that um, it's been the same for you so far today. All right. Okay, so I'm gonna look at my card, the elementals, magic. How can we invite more magic into our lives? I'm gonna go ahead and um, just start painting. And um, usually what I like to do, and um, we've already kind of grounded ourselves, but um, I like to do this also before I, I start painting. I like to just take a breath and, you know, let go, put any worries that I have aside, just put it on the shelf for now and just focus on the painting. And even as I start, or you or whoever's joining, like, I think all artists have this, I don't want to say a problem, but you know, when you have a blank canvas, it could be kind of, ooh, I'm gonna start a blank canvas now, a little scary. That's your left brain. We're still in our left brain logical mind. And so it's um, easy to be scared. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna do um, abstract painting. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be real, real from the heart. And um, I'm gonna activate some of my watercolor paints right now with a little bit of water. Okay. And I might add more later, we'll see. Okay, so I'm just gonna start with some watercolor. And again, okay, I'm coming into this with my question of how I can serve the greatest good. And um, I'm reaching into that magical elemental energy. So with that, I'm just gonna go blindly <laughs> and just do a clear wash. This is just a clear wash of water. And I have no plan. I have no idea what I'm gonna paint. I'm just, honoring the practice of trusting my intuition. Okay, I'm still really locked in my left brain right now because I'm trying to talk about the cards and I'm thinking about what I'm gonna say next. And as we start painting, you'll notice I'll probably start quieting down <laughs> and stop chitter chattering. So let's see what happens. I love starting with yellow lately. So there's no rhyme or reason. Just grab your paints and start painting. Okay, we're just gonna lay down some paint any which way you like. Uh, let's see. I might do a little orange. Ooh. 
more color on there. And I'm just gonna go along here. I'm just following this energy. Just like that. I'm trying to soften my energy. S is for soften. <laughs> I've got my mind on um, kindergarten. I, I'm homeschooling my five-year-old and she's in kindergarten this year. So I'm always looking at, um, <laughs> at uh, letters and beginning words. And so I've got S on my mind, S for snake, S for soften. Beautiful. Okay. And if you're here watching, go ahead and say hi. Um, if you're watching the replay, feel free to uh, enter any questions or comments you have in the comment section and I'll come back to check. I'll get a notification and, and uh, it'll let me know. Okay. All right, guys, I have no plan for this except to, I think I want to continue the shape. It's very flowy, like waves. All right, so just start adding your first layer. And with the type, if you've been following me for a while, you know that um, I like to work in layers. So this first layer is most likely gonna get painted over or drawn over. And so um, if you're like really stuck, you're like, oh my gosh, I don't know what to paint. I'm really scared. Just start marking the paper. It doesn't have to make sense. Okay, and um, as soon as you start playing, it'll be, you'll feel that energy of just letting go and surrendering. You'll feel that, that beautiful energy of surrender. And, um, you know, you're surrendering to your creativity. We are all born with a creative spirit. And uh, I think we need to start practicing, practicing tapping into that. I mean, can you imagine like back, let's say the first artist that ever lived in caves and the first person that ever picked up a rock and started painting on the walls and drawing on the walls of the rock. Do you think he was sitting there going, oh my gosh, I hope everyone likes this. I don't know if I should be drawing this. <laughs> I highly doubt it. <laughs> That'd be kind of funny. Maybe, I don't know. But, uh, yeah. And now, you know, these beautiful rock drawings and paintings, they're just it's something that we can learn from, from all different, you know, all the different cultures from around the world, early, from early civilizations. Okay, I think I'll just, next I think I'll do some, I don't know. I'll do some speckles, those are fun. So I'm gonna grab some paint and put on my brush and I'm gonna stand up because it's more fun. I'm gonna, I have speckles all over my studio. The, this is the sparkly <laughs> energy we're looking for, right? Like a beautiful mess. All right. So magical. If you've seen my other videos, you know that sometimes I like to have two 
different paintings going on at the same time so that I could have, I could set this aside and let it dry or, and then we'll start working on the other one, whether it's acrylic or watercolor, but um, I'm just gonna play with whatever I have going on here. I'm not gonna worry about whether it's dry or not uh, because we're just playing with energy right now. Energy, it's gonna be abstract. I might come up with some symbols, really simple symbols. Um, as I as I start painting, um, we'll see. Maybe, maybe not. That's the beautiful art of intuitive painting. You just kind of go with the flow. All right, so I'm rubbing my hands because it's cold. Hello, October. these things with circles. Circle in the sun. I am a Leo. <laughs> and I do love the sunshine. But I also love circles. I think there's something about that shape of um, the circle and it represents completion and unity. There's something very grounding about it to me. So I don't know um, if you if you saw my most recent painting. Um, I have suns, multiple suns, sun setting into the ocean, and it was inspired by both these uh, mystical this mystical oracle deck and my my five year old. So one morning uh, we woke up, and I said, "Good morning, good morning, sunshine. The sunshine's ready to." you know, greet us I, every day. We say hello to the sunshine. And uh, my five-year-old says, Mama, how many sons do we have? And I said, well, we only have one sun. We have one sun and one moon. And other planets have multiple moons. And, um, and it blew her mind. She said, what? We only have one sun? And... <laughs> It was so sad. I kind of felt really bad that I kind of bursted her bubble in a way, but like her mind was blown. Like, what? We only have one son. What are you talking about? So it was a perfect day to learn about the solar system. <laughs> and, uh, but I think it's kind of, it's kind of great that, you know, that's magical. That is, that's what we're talking about with the elemental card. You know, that's something that, that we don't think about like we're so educated and so intelligent that we forget about the magic and Kira's only five she's you know these babies they come into the world with the most innocent of minds and they're so magical like they're just they're innocent and they're untainted <laughs> and so yeah she thought that there was more than one son and so a few days later I ended up I'm pulling a card from the Mystics deck. And one of the cards that I pulled was um, the West card. And I wonder if I could find it. I'll try and pull it out. Maybe I could, well, let that dry. I'll show you which card that was, if I can find it. But it was the card of the West. And it talks about, um, again, that, that um, gratitude. The West is where our is the where our it's the path basically the path that 
our ancestors had laid before us and giving gratitude to what they have you know done for us right so it makes sense so the the um picture that i painted and I'm, I, it looks like i'm going along that same theme again um the suns i painted multiple suns on this painting let me show actually it's right here let me grab it and each sun and would represent the ancestors that came before us. So, you know, we're giving gratitude. And if you think about it, our ancestors have seen a million hundred sunsets in, you know, all of the lifetimes that, that they've lived, that we've lived, right? So many sunsets. And um, the sun is this abundant life source that gives us energy and it helps plants and people thrive on Mother Earth. And so even though we have only one sun, its infinite energy is something that is relatable to the, you know, the idea that there's a million suns or more, the infinite abundant amount. It makes total sense. We see it every day. We depend on it every day. It doesn't shut off like you shut your TV off. It just shows up. It, you know, it's just part of our life. It doesn't flake on us. It doesn't ghost us. <laughs> it doesn't cancel plans. So anyways, I thought that was really cute. So I, my inspiration um, from this West card was all about giving gratitude for our, our ancestors, which are represented by the sons that have come before us. Anyways, I just wanted to share that with you. And so this complete painting, you can see how um, it's really saturated with color and it's got a lot of details. And that was the building, you know, I built upon layer upon layer upon layer. And this actually started something like this. So um, you do as much detail and layers as you want to. And it's, you know, this is all about following your intuitive heart to create your art. And there's no wrong or right way. You don't have to follow exactly what I'm doing. I And I think um, just going with the flow is the best. Okay, so I've got that. And then, I don't know. So let's see. What am I feeling now? <sighs> okay, so I'm going to just kind of ground or reground my energy. I get so excited when I talk about these things and think about what I'm gonna do next. I tend to cover the whole page with white. I think I might try and maybe steer away from that. See, that's my left brain talking and making plans. There I go, making plans again. <laughs> oh, so funny. what I'm doing but that's okay I'm just creating some lines now I'm gonna just follow that I would explain to you what I'm doing but I have no explanation except for I'm laying down some purple watercolor and just following the edges of what I've already painted and I might go down here. And I'm just going with the flow of the lines. Oops. And I'm not too worried about whether the edges are bleeding or not. It actually creates a really beautiful, a beautiful 
result. So, and that's the beautiful thing about watercolors. It's just the blending and letting the water and the colors flow wherever it wants to. Okay. Maybe I might add some purple on this corner to balance it out. I still have my design brain in, but that's okay. Balance, the reason why I say that is when I said balance out, not only in life do you need balance, right? This is in life and design. <laughs> so I'm talking metaphorically and, you know, anyways, so design wise, you want your picture to be balanced, right? So I'm balancing this corner of purple with this corner of purple to help balance it out. So that's my designer speak. And it's the same with life. Where can you find balance and harmony? And I bet you at some point during this creative process, I'm probably gonna knock the balance off and it's gonna look really messy and I'm gonna say, oh my gosh, this looks chaotic. And that's perfectly normal. That's part of the creative process. Okay. Notice how quiet I got? I'm trying to concentrate. That's what my five-year-old says now. Um, whenever we have quiet time, I'll have her paint or do something, you know, a quiet activity, whether it's painting or doing a puzzle. And I'll start asking her something and she says, Mom, I'm trying to concentrate. <laughs> That's really cute. She's a very good communicator. Gemini. Okay. And... Da, 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 da. Do, 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 do. Hmm. Let me go along the edge with blue. Let's see here. Let me get a little bit more. I might do indigo. A combo of indigo, blue, and ultramarine. Along that edge. All right, how are we doing? How's everybody doing? If you are um, feeling brave and want to share uh, your artwork, your process with me, after you're done, you can tag me. If you end up sharing it on social, you can tag me um, at Artist Desiree East on Instagram. Or you could just email me too. I have a contact form um, on my website at DesireeEast.com. And if you would rather do it privately, you could share with me there too. <clears throat> All right. Sometimes I like to go back while the paint is still wet and I'll go back and either um, add some more saturation toward the edges and let it bleed into <clears throat> where um, there's more water. Or I might even come in with another color and let that kind of blend it in that way, wet on wet.
All right, so I don't know where this is going, but it's going. Okay. Do, 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 do. <clears throat> Flip it upside down. Let's see what we got. Hmm, interesting. Sometimes I'll turn things around if it's a uh, when I'm still on my first layer when there's nothing uh, set in stone as far as you know whether it be a landscape or portrait or anything like that. <clears throat> and I'll just add another layer and see where it takes me. Sip of water. All right, so now I might go back with another layer of this. Not really, this is like a magenta almost. So I might go back here. Actually, I'm going to switch this around because the energy of my hand was going this way. So I might go back and add another layer here. I'm noticing I'm using a smaller brush for this part. I didn't plan that. It just happened that to be that I had this brush in my hand. So these first layers are um, somewhat light in hue and value, I should say. Um, that's okay. Again, we're gonna build up on layers. to my, if you hear me rustling around, I'm getting more paints in my bag, my watercolor bag. Let's see, what am I looking for? In the green blue, there it is. I love this color. In the green blue. Can you see that? Sometimes these things are hard to focus. Anyhow, uh, it's a dark, it's almost like an indigo. But it's, um, I don't remember, is this staining or not? Anyways, okay. So a little bit of that. Oh yeah. There we go. And I feel like the space is opening up. So I'm not sure if I'm going to paint anything in this corner just yet. We'll see how that feels. I don't know. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
I'm going to splash some of this in the dream blue. Splatter. I'm loading my paintbrush up. Splatter on those paint these parts that are still wet. Okay, I feel like I'm gonna want to add some orange here in this space. Oops. See it blending in with the splash of that blue that I just did. That's all right. Let's give it more of an earthy color, an earthy tone. If I turn this sideways, it's almost like mountains. Earthly mountains, earthly elements. So if the silence is killing you, I know that I love to paint with music. So feel free to turn on some tunes in the background if you want to. I had some, uh, I could set this up so that I can have music on the background while I talk to you. And I'm still playing with that app. So I'm figuring out the technology on that sense, still testing things out. So um, if you like, Chill music, low five beats. That's kind of what I am going for. <laughs> and I'm gonna bring this around. I just jumped around this little bit of boop drip. Going with the flow. There we go. All right. Don't mind me, I'm just playing drums over here on my water can. So I'm just drawing this flowy line and using the tip of my brush to control how thick I want it. Right there. And I think I'm gonna go back then and perhaps, actually, I'll be talking to myself. I was gonna go back up here with the orange. But I like this line. I don't know if you can see it it's from the blending, this line that was naturally formed from the orange and the magenta color kind of blending together. So perhaps I'll leave that and I might add some orange up here to create some rhythm and harmony. And balance, it's all connected. You got a nice rhythm with the up and down waves. And let's see here, so let's repeat this orange.
And I can see that it's blending in with this beautiful violet color that I have here. Because there's the, it's still wet and it's perfectly okay. I love it. We'll see where that takes us. I was giving that earth tone look as it blends. Around that little sun, around the sky. All right, so for this type of creative exercise and, you know, combining an intuitive reading from a card and painting your painting, um, you could go as long as you want, as far as, you know, how much time you spend, spend on the painting. You can make it really short and just stop when you feel complete. Sometimes they'll take me three to four days to work on a painting. Um, if I have time, solo mama time, sometimes it'll take me a whole day or maybe half a day, four hours to finish and complete a painting. If this, um, something like this, I think this is a nine by 12, I believe, is too big of you to complete. You can always cut your watercolor paper in half if you want to do something quick or maybe do something that's the size of the oracle card itself just something you know nice and small in fact i have some um paintings that kira did just a few days ago aren't those beautiful it's the sun it just keep, keeps coming back to us purple sun <laughs> um you know, just, yeah, you can cut your paper into smaller pieces and be done. And just, you know, go with that energy and then you're done. Um, I tend to work on things um, for a long time <laughs> because once I get in the groove, it's hard for me to stop. And I'm okay with that. <laughs> Okay, so I might add some more of this magenta here. So back to painting. Do, 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 do. Okay. So I love this background that I have so far. I really like it. I'm gonna come back and um, maybe do 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 add some more splats here and there. I got you know what? I admit. Okay, check this out. Oh shoot! I just put watercolor all over me. That's okay. Okay, like myself, some, I still have to like practice the art of not caring what other people might think as far as artwork goes and life itself. Practice from as far as how we speak to ourselves and especially mamas, your, you know, that self-talk of am I doing good or did I did that right and feeling guilty for like discipline even if it's positive discipline so i'd like you to you know going back to that surrender that surrender card and the higher self card card like surrendering to 
the thing that is bigger than you and knowing that you have this trust that the universe is supporting you in every decision that you make, you know, as long as, you know, you have good intentions, it's all about your come from. What is your come from? What is your, what are your intentions when you live life and raise your kids and, you know, with your partner or your business colleagues, like what are your intentions? That's the come from, like where does it come from? I'm gonna use a bigger brush here. Let's see, I'm gonna use to make more splats. I'm gonna go like this. Bum, bum, bum. Psh, psh, psh. Does that work? See, I'm just experimenting just as much as you are. And I'm gonna go like this. Ooh, that's a lot. That's a lot of water. A lot of water <laughs> loaded into this breath. All good, all good. Okay. I might go here. I said I wasn't going to paint this corner, but guess what? I'm going for it. I don't know why, but I am. Gonna go down. Boop. Stomp, 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 stomp. I like that. In fact, I like it so much. I'm going to go bump, 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 bump. All right. No rhyme or reason. Okay, so now you can see I'm really letting go of um, that first layer as I start to add other layers and. and Surrendering this product. Uh, I'm an artist um, that, of what the outcome might be. I really love how this turquoise is landing on this golden yellow. And I might even go like this. Boom. There, do something a little different. So, since the sun is technically a star, turn these into stars. So now I've gone from like, my intuition is starting to speak to me as far as uh, what, is what messages are coming to me 
from my painting as I paint. So painting is an art. Creativity is not a vocal language, it's not a written language. And it comes from your higher intuition and I'm slowly tapping into all right. Sounds good to me. Are we back? More layers here and there. I'm really attracted, well, I shouldn't say never use orange, but a lot of the times my paintings have predominantly uh, turquoise or aqua because that's just what I'm attracted to and influenced by, the ocean. And so this is kind of fun to paint with other colors. There we go. I'm adding some turquoise in these little spots just because. Just because. That's what I'm being called to do. I think it might just fill that, or maybe not. I'm following this curvy, let's follow this curvy line. There we go. Okay, fill that in. And there we go. All right, maybe I'll add similar to this. I'm adding some dots here or circles. Okay, and maybe I'll go back over here and do the same to some of these. Um, just for some interest, I'm gonna add some lines, or I mean some circles. <laughs> I'm 
not sure what they represent just yet. I think just, I'm just adding them there because I thought that'd be really cool. Sometimes I'll start painting and um, some symbols will start appearing in my paintings that um, will start speaking to me in the sense that that is part of the message. So um, I try and keep my heart and my mind open to that as I'm painting. Um, and sometimes it's just, you start painting random things like we have been and it's just random. There's no meaning or anything. It's just a, a beautiful stroke of uh, a mark of color. And that's a beautiful thing about painting and creativity. It doesn't always have to make sense especially during the creative process. A lot of times during the creative process, it's really messy and things don't make sense. And then finally, when everything comes together like a puzzle, it starts to make sense. Right? And I'm sure you've done those cre creativity, creativity exercises, creative exercises many times before where, um, especially if you're working on teams, sometimes, you know, teams will get together and try and do a project together and find a solution for that thing. And that takes a lot of creativity and it can get really messy, you know, a lot of chaos, a lot of ideas kind of floating around. Um, just very random. And then finally, once you start getting to a nice flow of being sense of things, that's where things come together. Okay, so we are at just, um, if you're watching this or watching the replay at about an hour into this painting into this process. So if you need to take a break, you could hit pause and take a break. Um, if you're watching the live, of course, you're more than welcome to get up and take a break if you need to. And at some point I might even uh, go off of the live and finish this on my own um, not yet, so don't worry. <laughs> not just yet, but I might, um, you know, finish some details on my own. That way I can stop talking and kind of do my own thing and get into my own groove. And I think um, that's part of the lesson that I, you know, I always try to preach. The, the message that I'm trying to preach is, you know, if you have that time and the opportunity to have some quiet time to yourself, that's really when your intuition is able to kick in and give you whatever messages that you need to hear. Because guess what? You have the answers to everything you need. It's all in you. It's all from you, from your heart. And we have to practice that, you know, listening to our inner wisdom. Okay. So... Everything's connected. 
So one of the things that's coming to me right now is as I'm painting, I'm, my hand, my mind guiding me and, and um, the pattern that I'm seeing coming out right now is that everything's connected. Everything is connected in this energy, um, this beautiful flow that goes of energy that goes up and down. And if there's chaos or if there's peace, no matter what, it's all connected. We're all connected to that same energy. And, um, you know, going back to the gratitude card, what kind of energy can we produce individually as individuals? And how can we spread that energy, that collective energy, so that it's all about love and gratitude and peacemaking? <clears throat> That's one of the... Um, my mentor, Lindsay Perra, the creator, one of the creators of the card, she talks a lot about peacemaking. And so how can we bring that into our world and heal the next generation, the future generations? You know, how can we do that? I am choosing to do it through art. <laughs> Art and coming at peace with yourself and finding that stillness in your heart so that you can radiate that to the world. <sighs> take a sip of water, excuse me. I've had to take a break from social a lot this last summer because of the chaos that was going on and <clears throat> I have some mama girlfriends, you know, who are going through the same thing. We're trying to raise kids and do homeschool and keep a peaceful household, let alone what else is going on in the world. And I had to take my Facebook app off my phone. Um, I only go on Instagram if I need to. But um, I think it's really important to go back to the truth of your reality of what's happening right in front of you and take that love, that positive energy that's happening in your life. Try to find those moments, you know, those elements of magic in your life because they're there. It's abundant. It's everywhere. You just have to be still so that you can see the magic. You can, you know, Go watch a sunset, connect with nature, go sit by a, a body of water and see how that feels, how your energy changes. Look at the stars. There's a little part right here that shows the universe. Go look at the stars. Some of my most profound life-changing moments have been looking up at the sky, at the stars speaking to me. I mean, whoa. Okay, so get away from the computer and go out in Mother Nature and find that magic. All right, so <clears throat> this is what I have so far. And I think I'm going to let this layer dry. Um, I love it how it is. What do you think? It's really got that really magical, vibrant energy. Um, definitely Sarah Love, thank you, thank you. I mean, look at her artwork. It's just so vibrant and um, colorful. And I feel like that that energy, even though I didn't exact, I didn't copy any of the pictures, but the energy of Sarah Love's cards definitely connected in my heart and in my mind and was translated on to my artwork today. Uh, and I love it. I might just keep it like this. Um, I might let it dry and add some other elements to it um, using either white acrylic ink or uh, some oil pastels. I'm not sure yet, but I will be sure to video it. And um, if, if I do anything to it, I'll share it with you either on uh, YouTube in a time lapse or on Instagram. I'm at, my handle is at artist.desireeeast so you can find me there and um, I'll show you 
what that looks like if I change it. Right now, I'm, I'm, I'm really liking this energy. So um, if you have your artwork that you wanted to share that you created today, please share it with me. Tag me on Instagram or um, email me a picture. And I would love to see what you have and I'd love to feature your work. So if you're feeling brave, let me know. And I look forward to seeing it. Otherwise, happy, peaceful blessings to you. Wonderful job connecting with your higher self and showing gratitude and getting that energy of love and gratitude into your painting and surrendering to this process. Because I know um, surrendering to a blank canvas, a blank page, a blank anything, and then making your first mark is really hard to do because you don't want to mess up. So thank you for surrendering into that creative flow and finding the magic in our live session today. Thank you. If you'd like to connect with me more, be sure to find me at DesireeEast.com. And again, if you want to see more lives, be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell. That way you can get updates. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. And I will see you soon. Bye.